Well, welcome to West Country Wanderings. Now, what I've noticed on my channel recently is a particular video, I'll put the title card, the thumbnail as we call it, here in the trade of the creators, put that on the screen now. I've noticed this particular video has been attracting a great deal of interest over the past few days. I think it was on something like 70 views about three or four days ago, and over the Christmas period it's jumped up to, at the time of recording this, about 250 odd views and I've also been attracting a lot of subscribers just on the back of one video. Why? Because of the work that's happening down at the Stroudwater Canal just a couple of miles from where I'm doing this recording now from the garden at home. So what I was going to do, I've been doing over the Christmas period, I've actually been going down there, I down, went down to the canal on Christmas Day, in fact I started it just before Christmas, Christmas Day, Boxing Day and also late last night and I was going to do a video mid-January when a lot of the work had been completed. Now the work is still taking place. In fact, there's a blockade on the main railway line between Birmingham and Bristol. And the work has not yet finished. So what I do is I brought forward this video. I'm gonna bring it to what I've recorded now and I'm gonna do an update again. So that'll be update number three towards the end of January and probably another one, well, yes, definitely another one at the end of March when all of the work has been completed and including all the landscaping, the refilling of the ocean and the renewing of the towpath and all reopening again. So just to recap, the towpath is currently closed. The ocean is currently drained and massive amount of work is taking place by network rail. It's actually taking place 24 hours a day. I think it's due to reopen on today's Tuesday, day after, uh, so the day after the day after Boxing Day. It's the 28th of December today. I think it's due to open on the 30th. I will check that. I'm not sure if they're going to hit that target or not, but they're certainly working flat out, as I saw last night, under floodlit conditions. But uh, I'm going to just show you now what I've been recording over the past few days down there. I do apologise if it's not kind of my normal kind of a continuous video because it's snippets and bits and pieces here and there. I have done some pieces to camera down there. There's also some photographs and some video clips which I've recorded down there as well. Uh, word of warning also, uh, it has been extremely busy particularly Boxing Day, when I couldn't actually get on the swing bridge, which is the best vantage point. But I, I think uh, I've got enough material together. So you've got an idea of what's actually been happening here on the Stroudwater Canal here in Gloucestershire.
Christmas Day. Merry Christmas. It's just in the morning, haven't had Christmas lunch yet. I've just come down here to the Stroudwater Canal, just have a look and see what the Progress Network Rail are doing. So there's a blockade on the line between Bristol and Birmingham for, I think it's four or five days, possibly five days. This is the first day of the blockade. And um, we'll go and have a look from the swing bridge to see what we can see with the, uh, the huge crane that's arrived in operation here and also the diggers which will be uh, excavating all of the embankment completely away so the new bridge installation can be put in so that uh, there is a new bridge over the uh, canal for the, the barges then to pass through and to restore connection to the canal network. So we're going to have a look at that shortly. If I can, I'll try and come back over the next couple of days to give you an update. It's absolutely enormous crane that they're, they're using over there. It's the biggest crane I've ever seen, I think, outside of building a London skyscraper. So we'll come back here again and get you a progress report here on the canal. Well here we are on Boxing Day, so happy Boxing Day. So I've just come down for a second day, we were here yesterday. I've just come down here and I have to say it's extremely, extremely busy. I've come around into a field and I've never seen so many people walk through this field in my life. I've only been through this field once before. We're actually beside the river Froome here, delightful uh, river. And of course one of the reasons why there's so many mills in the Stroud Valley and hence why this canal was built in the first place and why the bridge is now currently been replaced but so there is a giant crane beside me so when I inserted the shots yesterday you would have seen the railway embankment and they were digging away at top of that railway embankment now I've just had a glimpse of that and I can tell you you'll have to well I, mean, I will try and get a shot if I can from the swing bridge but it, it's so so busy really really difficult but all of that railway embankment has now gone and I think either tonight or during the course of tomorrow, they'll be ready to lower those giant concrete pieces that we saw back in the first Stroudwater video that I did. I'll insert a clip of that now, so just to remind you what they look like. They were actually cast on site. And they've been coated with a special um, anti-graffiti paint as well, as well. and they, they were actually um, D done all on, on, on site here in Stonehouse, right next to, uh, back the other side of where the railway is. 
and that giant crane of course is to lift those pieces those concrete pieces into place now that the railway has gone so they started late Christmas Eve they dug the track up they then obviously been digging at that embankment and uh, either tonight or tomorrow those concrete pieces will be ready to be placed in huge undertaking of course because once that's done they then got to rebuild the sides of the embankment again and get all the track up and of course they've only got five days to complete it so this is day two so they've got three more days because in on the fifth day or perhaps the sixth day the trains will be running along this line here which is the uh, Bristol to Birmingham main line so yeah it's all happening here I see if I can get some closer shots it's, it was really grey and miserable I actually came out home with my fleece and my my um, raincoat on as well because I didn't know what it's going to do the sun's just come out so I'll get some shots of the, the sunset while I was here as well which is a, a bonus bit of content for you Well, that's all for today on West Country Wanderings. Please consider a like, a subscribe, a share. Now, if you hit that subscribe and the bell, then YouTube will alert you to when my next canal video uploads. Now, there'll be another one from the Strandwater Canal towards the end of January. It's in about a month's time to give you a progress report. So that'll be update number four. No, three. <laughs> yes, number three. And then there'll be another one, March. Probably, well, that's the almost sure. There'll be some other canal content from some other canals around the West Country area in between that time as well. So I'll give you an update on that. Love to hear from you if you've got any comments. If you've actually been down to see the progress that Network Rail have been doing on this amazing engineering project. It's the, the most detailed engineering project I've, I've seen. I've been fascinated. I've been following it uh, since I came back uh, to Gloucestershire in June and I heard what was actually going to be happening over the Christmas period. And I've been totally absorbed with, with all that because I just find it amazing piece of uh, project management and also civil engineering skills to get this uh, canal reconnected. So after March, after I've done the, the reopening of that section, I will keep you updated with all the uh, other developments that are happening on the Stradwater Canal, particularly the doing the work underneath M5, because that needs to be done before the Stradwater can be reconnected to the network. Also look out for a special on the Stradwater Canal about one of my relatives who actually got this whole project started off in the 1960s. I'll tell you more about that soon. So hit that subscribe and bell if you want to be updated about that. Until then, take care of yourselves. All the best. Cheers now. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.